Hi Virgos, welcome to the channel. I'm the Side Moon Diva. For those of you all that are new, for those of you that are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, the comments, the shares, as well as the donations and keeping your girl booked and busy with the personal readings. If you guys are interested in one, you guys can find the information down below in the description box as well as pinned in the comments. So let's go ahead and get into this energy about your person that you may be in separation from. If you're not in separation from someone, and you don't want to hear about anybody from your past. This is not the reading. All right. Let's go ahead and get into this energy. All right. Please give me the most detailed and accurate messages. If you're going to ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages that need to come through for the sign of Virgo at this time, please. This person has been lying to you. They've lied a lot. This person has been lying. They haven't been loyal to you. All right, this is somebody, for some of you, if this is a friend, this person is a fake friend, okay? Somebody that you, you don't need to be trusting, okay? This is somebody I feel like you kind of regret that you even entertained at one point because it felt like at one point it was real, but I feel like for some of you all, even if you're like, I feel like for some of you all that are married to this person, or if you've had a, like I said, a long-term relationship or a situation, whatever the case, case may be, no matter how much you tried in this situation, you felt as if something wasn't real about this. No matter how much you tried to compromise and try to make it work, something just didn't feel right. All right. And you had to, I kind of feel like for some of you all, you felt like you rushed to a decision to make this relationship work. And the only thing that it led to was trouble issue after issue after issue. All right. With this person here, I don't know. It's something about you not wanting to let this person go. For some of you all, the reason you don't want to let this person go is because they were like an escape for you. Some of you all could have escaped a home that you weren't happy in uh, growing up. You know, um, I do feel like some of you all are carrying some childhood issues. And this is the reason why you chose to get yourself involved with this person. I'm telling you, some of you all rushed into this. You may have jumped into this relationship because you maybe were in an abusive relationship before that. And this person kind of came in at a time in which you were vulnerable. And they told you, they gave you this falsehood of, I'm going to love you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm not going to treat you like the per last person treated you. I'm going to be the one for you. You'll see. And when you got involved with this person, things were good at first, but then in the end, you start realizing that there was something that was missing. There were some flaws in this situation. There was some breaking in this foundation. And you said to yourself, you know what? A minute, I might as well stay in it now because I'm loyal. I'm going to hold this situation down, even if it hurts. For some of you all, this could be a cancer that you're dealing with. I'm getting a lot of water energy here. I'm getting a lot of water in gym, getting that somebody has done a lot of crying over this situation as well. Mm. Oh, what did I tell you? There's definitely been a lot of crying in this situation. There's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of pain, a lot of feeling they're taken advantage of, feeling like this person may have also been a bad influence on you or could have been a bad influence on your children if you have children. But there's some deception here. This is deception twice. You got the two of swords in a reverse along with the moon card following it, okay? On top of that, you have the king of wands as well. This person is not... Look, I gotta, I'm trying to work on my cursing, okay? <laughs> but this person ain't at all what you thought they were. For some of you all, this is a Sagittarius. This is definitely a Sagittarius for some of you all that you're dealing with. A lying, secretive, sneaky, trifling Sagittarius. And I'm just going to be honest. All right. They put you to, through pain so much. You've lost a lot behind this person. Some of y'all, you may have got fired because of this person. Somebody had somebody had somebody's car. They would take your car. They would go out. They would go out all night. They would party or they would be at other people's houses. I need my car so I can go to work. Can you bring my car back? Please bring me my car back. I need to go to work. The person didn't bring your car back. You lost your job or you lost your apartment or you lost your government benefits. Somebody lost their section eight. Somebody lost their food stamps. Somebody has lost lost a lot behind this no good as person okay whether this is a male or a female you lost a lot behind this person okay i'm telling you and, it, and for some of you all this affected your children in some way 
And it says, you, boy, you've done a lot of crime behind this person. They will lie. They will trick. They will tell you, I'm going to take this money. I'm going to flip this money. I promise you, I'm going to hook us up. We're going to be living it good. You know, I'm good for it, baby. I'm good for it. This person, the only thing they're good for is sex. I feel like this person, for some of you, if you're dealing with a male, they got a big penis. If the penis is not big, the sex is good. The mouth is good. I'm telling you, this their game is good. They can talk a good game, but they can never back it up. Only thing they do is leave you sad, leaving you in grief, leaving you in tears. Speaking of grief, I feel like somebody lost someone in their family. Somebody passed away. For some of you all, it could be your mother. And they were the worst support system you could have ever had, even if you want to call it support. They were the worst support you ever had when you were going through this. While you were going through this, they were going through other women or other men. Some of them, they slept with your friend. This person slept with somebody's friend. I'm telling you, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. See, the reason why it's hard to let this person go, this is a toxic twin flame, okay? Somebody, it's like an energy of, I feel, you. somebody, I'm telling you, you either felt like this was a soulmate, a true love, or a twin flame. This is a false twin flame. This is a karmic, okay? This is somebody, it, in the beginning, this was a perfect match, okay? Because you got the king of wands in the reverse, and then you have the queen of wands in the reverse. This person could also be sleeping around with a Sagittarius, or Aries, or a Leo, all right, is the energy. I'm telling you, this person, sex game is, this is their MO. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. I feel like whenever you try to walk away, this person come back, put that good loving on you, either knock you up, get you pregnant again, or they releasing them seeds some way. They doing something, baby. And I'm telling you, all they have to do is tell you a little bit. Make a small change here and there. And then they write back to the same stuff they've been before. This is not a king. This is a page masquerading as a king. And he still can't be a king because he's in a reverse. All right. This is somebody that's full of shit. I'm just being honest. They're going to come back. They watch you. For some of them, they stalk you. They call you all the time. This is somebody that you may still have them connected to you in some way. For some of you all, you may have, this person may be on the phone playing with you. So they watch where you go in some way in which they can GPS your uh, location. And they're always wondering what you're up to. Somebody's getting a promotion or they're getting a promotion. Somebody has a good, somebody has a good, life financially while the other one lacks ambition but they're very conceited and arrogant so they use they use their vanity to gain financially from you they do something they're, they're very deceitful very deceitful i'm telling you they could, could be in they're involved with somebody else could be married to this person they could be married to somebody else but it's a lot of drama here. And here's the thing. Even through all of this drama, you still want a new beginning with this person. I don't know if it's for the kids or, again, it's for that fact of being loyal. Even if the person isn't loyal to you. It's time to make some changes, Virgo. It's time to make some changes. Even the most important messages for the sign of Virgo at this time, please. Most important messages. If this is not your story, all right, please don't come at me with the attitude. Because y'all, I'm telling you, I have to block some people sometimes so they just get out of pocket. Don't, like, if it's not your story, just move on to quit talking mess. the most important messages that need to come through for the sign of Virgo. What does the Virgo need to know at this time, please? What does the Virgo need to know at this time, please, in regards to that person? What does the Virgo need to know at this time, please, in regards to that person? Giving the most blunt and honest truth about what the person needs to know at this time, please.
like I mentioned, you all are dealing with a person that is a karmic, okay? This is somebody that is fleeting, all right? A, a relationship that's fleeting. They never seem to last. They always seem to run away and then try to come back. They trigger you in some way, mess with, messing with your mind emotionally. This is somebody that causes a lot of turmoil. This is somebody that makes you feel resentful of maybe being with them, maybe being resentful that you had a child with them or that you stayed as long as you did with this person. There's a lot of lessons that you've learned from this person. For some of you all, you're going to keep learning your lesson until you break this cycle okay it's about letting go and loving you because when you love yourself you don't put up with shit like this this person here has been having you in this cycle of hurt okay breaking your heart and healing it breaking your heart and healing it why do you keep going to the same place that's hurting you in order to heal okay what is this Freedom from toxic relationship, all right? Addiction could be addicted to this person. This person could be addicted to substances. You both could be addicted to substances in some way, all right? Addicted to codependency could be the issue here as well, all right? This person is a snake. They will and they have always been a snake. And for some of you all, you could be an empath, very sensitive. So you tend to attract people that have the narcissistic traits, all right? So this is somebody that tends to use, all right? Charm you, enabling you in some way. And it's time for you all to have boundaries in place, okay? Because with this two of swords here that's coming up, this is about somebody not wanting to make a decision, okay? Um, not wanting to make a decision and allowing somebody to make decisions for you, okay? You only get one life. Live it on your terms. I feel like I'm talking to somebody in a way in which they need to hear it. What did I tell you? Major spiritual lessons that you're learning from this situation. Okay? This person is, oh my God. Whoa. I was about to show you this card first, but I'm going to show you this one first. I told you, somebody regrets having a child with somebody because some of you all feel like you've been trapped with a baby. Somebody in this situation feels as if they were trapped. Codependency, needing my personal space. Your person, I lack self-love, that's why I keep hurting you. Somebody that loves, doesn't love themselves is incapable of loving somebody else, at least not in a way in which you deserve. Reach out. I'm telling you, this person wants you to reach out or you're going to reach out to this person. But it's just going to bring this cycle back around again and again. You or your person could have an olive complexion. There's growth that needs to happen. Somebody needs to grow up. You or your person could be in their late 20s. You or your person could be in their late 40s. Oh, some of you all are in a May-December romance where um, you could be dealing with an older person, all right, or vice versa. There's prosperity and growth, okay, that is on the way once you learn to choose you. Addicted to love, okay? Somebody is addicted to love. I'm telling you there are some issues. They're addicted to love, though. The idea of love is because they may not have experienced a lot of love at home. All right, when they were a kid. Your person says, I know you're fed up. And like I mentioned before, this person stalks the hell out of you. Because they don't want you to do to them what they do to you. So they're keeping tabs on you. What did I tell you? Somebody got childhood issues, mommy issues. You can't make this up. I had literally two separate decks here. And one in which I even just added some new messages to it. And these were the specific ones that came out. Consistency is what this person lacks. And this is what you want and desire in this person. All right. It's time, Virgo, to choose you. But of course, you have free will. So you do what makes you happy. But I'm going to go ahead and close this off with a believe in your own magic message. Okay. What is the most important message? To quote, there we go. Forgive yourself, baby. Forgive yourself. Yeah, you may have gotten with this person and thought that things were going to be great. You were going to be married or you were going to have this amazing life. And they were going to be this great parent to your children if you have them. And you look back on this and realize you rushed into it because of your last relationship for some of you all. But forgive yourself. You are not your situation. You can change it at any time. You are not stuck. You see how that window is behind her? 
and that window was let up. Baby, at any time you can leave. If you all enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm the Sad Moon Diva. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!